Welcome to Marthaverse After Dark. Q&A. Q&A, yes. Um, so we have some cues for your A. Oh. Um, <laughs> my friends have asked questions. Oh, tell, tell. Because uh, it was, it, like, this isn't yeah. necessarily what we started out to sure. do. Right. And um, so, you know, my cousin said, in what effing world do you have a show about Martha Stewart? And right. I don't. Um, which, that's a logical question. Yeah. Right? I'm not, no one looks at me and goes, what? Martha Stewart, of course. But you've grown up with the nickname Martha. Well, yes. Yeah. So my college roommate, Jody was always calling me Martha because yeah. I did all these Martha-esque type projects between right. cooking, baking, gardening, And it gardening, was a great whatever. compliment. Yeah. It was a... Absolutely. Yeah. I took it very much as a crown of distinction. Yeah. Um, I can see where with you, it might not have been a natural transition. Yes. Yes. Like if someone called me Martha, it would be the equivalent of smooth move, x lax Like... <laughs> You know, like no one was using Martha in a complimentary way for me. Yeah. Um, and so one of the questions we got from Camille in West Hartford is, are you actually this inept in real life or, <laughs> uh, or is this a bit on the show? Yeah. And I'd like you to answer that. Am I actually this inept in real um, and, and it's okay to be honest. No, I think you have very wonderful skills in many Martha orbits. Yes. I think your design, your interior design, yes. your eye for design, color, patterns, things like that. And um, and renovations. Renovations. So I didn't know that she had a thing, again, because yeah. I'm just coming out from under the rock. Right. Now that I know how big the umbrella is, I'm like, oh, I can find a spot for myself here or there. Yes, absolutely. Many orbits are for you. There are many orbits that do not fit you, <laughs> yeah. that are so much of a stretch for yes. you, from yeah. you know the crafting to the cooking to yeah. the whatnot. But I don't think that, uh, I think you and I complement each other because looking yes. at your incredibly specific organizational skills that I lack yeah. consistently yeah. Uh, because I've just got a different organizing system. Shows. Well, and, and a, great, a great expression is trying to keep a house clean and organized when you have kids is like, yeah. is like brushing your teeth and eating an Oreo at the same time. Or cleaning right. up after a party that you didn't have. Shoveling during yeah. a snowstorm. Like it, oh. there's just no, be, there's no beginning, middle or end. The only reason my so house true. can stay clean is there's only one person I need to threaten and I sleep with them. So, so I've got some leverage. That is, that's, that's yeah. heat. That's yeah. definitely got some weight to it. Okay, so there was a question from Robin in Houston who asked, what is the favorite place you've ever visited that's inspired you? <gasps> Ooh, I love that one. Yeah. So, for me, so first of all, meeting you in London, uh, um, anytime I'm overseas, um, I'm super duper inspired. Just yeah. because every time I go to a new place and I go, oh, this is how they do it here. Yeah. Um, I get to pick up new things. And then a dumber answer is Instagram. Like every time I'm on Instagram, I'm like super inspired. That is kind of its own country. Yes, yes, Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Exactly. Yes. Right, right, right. Um, how about you? Yeah, I think so too. I feel like when I can go into someone's studio and see how they've made something, like when we were in, down in Puerto yes. Rico, I really enjoyed seeing people make their own crafts, whether it was pottery yeah. or baskets or glassware or whatnot. Like so, artisans in their element. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's to me almost like a visiting a foreign country to see them be able to hone a skill like that. Yes. Uh, but I think international countries yes. uh, always love Canada. You know, yeah. amazing. Go Canada. Those, yep. Yeah. Neighbors to the north. It's like What's on your bucket list? Because Morocco as a design destination, mm, yes. and I also dig fabrics. Like, yes. Ooh. Fantastic. Um, so high can five we do stars. that someday? Can Absolutely. That? Yes. If you've been to Morocco, Shoot us a note. We'd like to know How if it's worth it. How about Paris? Ever obviously. Been? Obviously. Yes. Obviously. Um, yes, I have been. Very With inspiring. A great group of ladies. Right. Um, Lots of and, fun, interesting, very. Yes. And as you know, fashion is my thing. I mean, what with my Amazon.com shirt and my <laughs> LK Bennett shoes. That's right. Um, Tracy in Burlington, Vermont asks oh. about the Great American Tag Sale. How did um, everyone know the provenance of the items at the tag sale? Hmm. And um, what I liked about the question was yeah. every, everybody did know the stories, and if they didn't, they were able to defer in real time to Martha, yeah. who legit, yes. I, I think we touched on this in the Jim and Vince episode, but she knew everything about every yeah. piece. Or even Carrie, who had the fork. And I still don't know you know. She has the whole set out in gold, and of course I purchased that, but I couldn't help myself. If you know, you know. Right. Yeah. When somebody says, if you know, you know, I'm the person going, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, so if there's a camel thing. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Lots of good wait, questions. Reach out on me not making a camel toe, toe joke. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so the, the number under the camel, she's like, if you know, you know, yeah. I still need to know. 
again, we're pushing for this. We yes. want another Great American Tag Sale, but it was so much work. And, it, and I was like, well, doesn't she have people to do the work? Yeah. No, if it's all of her stuff. It's very personal. It's very personal, which brings us to the next question from Amesha in oh. London, England. Okay. Um, who said, what do you think was the most personal Ooh. item at the sale? That wasn't exactly the vernacular of the question. Mm. I won't get into it, but okay. she said, you know, were any of Martha's more personal items uh, included in the sale? Well, and so in your opinion, what, what, what do you think was the most personal thing that you saw? I do have to say, I think some of the pieces that she, the jadeite was probably hard for her to pass yeah. on, but I think she knew, especially that um, some other people she was close to were taking it, yes. gave her a sense of peace. Tell me about that. So there was a Friday night thing, right? Yes, there was a special event that uh, was an invite only. There were some friends that were close to her who okay. I think acquired the majority okay. of her jade. Because by the time we got there, most of it was gone. Right. Although Bernie Wong Green might have a few pieces because he's specifically tied to that color. Yeah. And uh, I think that I'm really digging that guy's Instagram. Oh, he's fantastic. Oh man. Oh man. That he has a great yeah. eye. Yeah. I know. I know, so I know it's not convenient, but anytime you randomly want me to come to Wisconsin, <laughs> take a trip to. Another viewer question, John Grossman from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania would like to know, um, and I love this question because when you and I were interviewed um, at the tag sale, uh, I'm still in therapy about that, by the way. Um, and you wear it well. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and so there were a couple things I did on purpose Ooh. to try to make sure that our interview wouldn't air on mm. ABC. Kibosh? Um, Is that what you did? That, it was a little bit. But I made a joke about Dave Grohl. <gasps> yes. And they said, if you could see any, um, if you could have any celebrity tag sale, who would it be? And I said, I'd love to be at Dave Grohl's because... Dave Grohl would come up and say, oh my God, Kristen Spando, you're on my laminated list. And I would say, oh my God, Dave Grohl, same -sies. Um And so at the time, people were like, what's a laminated list? Yeah. Do you know what a laminated list is? Uh, you, you embellish, okay. yes, right. please. So it's, it's from a very popular TV show that rhymes with Schmenz. Um, <laughs> and there was a, there was a couple, um, um, Schmosh and Schmachel, Right. And they had a list each of five people oh. that they were allowed to have a have a, a rendezvous Intimate with. Time. Yes. yes, with no repercussions oh. on their relationship. I see. And so it sparked a conversation of, you know, if you were in a couple at the time, you were like, well, who's on your list? Yeah. And, um, and so it's just a fun topic. I like, love it. You know, who so are, you're going who to people that you would be allowed to smooth. Well, obviously, John Grossman is now on my list. Yeah. Um, but what was funny in the episode, if you saw it, is that Ra uh, Schmoss um, laminated his list. Like oh. it was so important. I see. And so when you say someone's on your laminated list, that That's means that permanent. is non-negotiable. Yeah. If I meet right. this person, right. that person and I have permission to No smooth. questions asked. So John's question was, do you think Martha knows, or do you know for in fact, um, that she is on some people's laminated list? <gasps> And he said, I'm asking for a friend. Oh, John. Yes, I am that friend. Oh, wow. And so many things, clearly, I yeah. loved about this question. Yeah. But the most is Martha posts some thirst traps. Oh, yeah, she does. And so I, I hope she knows. Yeah. I'm sure she knows. But if she doesn't know, she should know. Because yeah. she is for sure on laminated lists. I might even reference you to go back to a couple of uh, the shows with an Andy Cohen <gasps> where she talks about a couple gentlemen suitors. Really? And yes. Wait, is John Grossman on her laminated list? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not going to be a spoiler. All right, John, can you send us a picture? Yeah. <laughs> I think that uh, Martha reveals a little bit, but she's also very coy. She is. Yes. I like that about, she's close to the vest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why, well, why spill the beans? Right. Yeah. All right, Martha Versons. Yep. Um, who's on your laminated list? Let us know. And can we go back for just a minute? Although it will be Dave Grohl, of course. Right. Aren't there some boys from New Jersey that I think should be on your list? Oh, Bruce? Well, Bruce for you and JBJ. JBJ. Always. Of my course. first concert. John Bon Jovi. Of course. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So. I can't. Dave is above. John. The boss. Is J that what Dave you're is saying? above the boss. Wow. So I love the boss, but I love the yes. boss like a brother. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's a different kind of love. Right, right, right. right. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm not. So, I, I, you know, if, if I ever met the boss, I would eat a bug. You know that line oh, from Goodwill Hunting okay, where it's like yeah. I ate a bug and got up and walked away? That's me. Gotcha. Um, but if I met Dave Grohl, I might be like, 
How are you doing? Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. I'll get you an apple. How are these apples? Yeah, yeah. how about them yeah. apples? Um, do you have any other people on your lemonade list I should know mm. about? I don't want to put you on the spot. Right, right, right. Well, um, not the laminated list. Okay. But, you we know. We could workshop. I mean, it could be a whole list. Yeah. I mean, that and first concert at the Seattle Coliseum with John Bon Jovi and oh. Richie Samboro and all the other guys. So you're Amazing. a big hair. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Can we get can we get some pictures of Heather from those days? <laughs> and maybe, you know, just 80s. a side by side. Hey, can we do Woo. one of those mesh things where we have John Bon Jovi and Heather's oh, baby? We actually John Bon Jovi and I probably looked exactly the same. All right, Heather, you're not gonna believe this, but we have John Bon Jovi. John! <laughs> oh, my God! oh, you're so amazing. I love you so much. Take my We have a new question coming in. Yes. All right. This one's from Ah Kara in Cohasset. Oh yes. What is she pronouncing ask? that right? It sounds good. Yep. The name of the show is the Martha Verse. Yes. Um, do you anticipate meeting Martha, having her on the show? Does she know about the show? Well, yes, she knows about the show as far as we can tell on Instagram, and she's following as well as she's reposted some of our things. She also was involved in the initial design of the show. She was just part of the conversation as things kind of got yeah. formulated yeah. and the show was pitched to her and she loved it yeah she's um, very busy but she she's booked she's she booked has solid. so much going on so yeah. yeah while she couldn't be a part of this show we're hoping that we yes. can get her to come in and be uh you know contributing factor uh maybe some visits here and there maybe some and let's be honest even if the show was named the bruce averse yeah. if martha stewart showed up we'd yeah. be like right. yes we would like you to be on the show <laughs> So Absolutely. yes, if, if Martha calls, We're, if and when Martha calls. We'd love to have her. Yeah. Exactly. There's yeah. always a seat at the table for Martha. Yeah. If you could meet Martha oh, anywhere, where would it be? Hands down, Skylands. So, her home in Maine. Okay, first of all, yes. I love you so much. Because I'm half Mainer. Yeah. So I would love to see her place in Maine. How yep. about you? So same. Um, but knowing nothing about Martha, I was like, I hear she has this little place in Maine. Yeah. I think it's kind of it's probably a dive. But <laughs> she's really, really good with her hands. I don't know. And so I started to think about where would be my ideal environment because, again, Martha verse, what mm -hmm. you need to know is I have no desire to meet real people in person. Um, so I was like, where would I be okay with that? I'm like, we were all sitting around a fire. Yeah. Up there. Right. Martha and Snoop and just shooting the Enjoy fitted sheet. Enjoying the breeze. Yeah. Yeah, shooting the breeze. She seems like somebody that, like, when everything is away yeah. and the day is over, and Real. she's sitting there yeah. with a, is this yours? Sorry. Yeah, please do. Okay, mine's kind of <laughs> empty. I can see her sitting down and just listening to her laugh. Yeah. That would be a blast. Right. But remember, as Jim and Vince said, you can't interrupt her. No interruptions. Okay, well, I have to I, remind you. There aren't many people in. in the world for whom I will do this, but I will have my vocal cords surgically removed <laughs> to go to Skyline. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, ideas, please send them our way. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to answer any questions you might have. And with seven kids between us, <laughs> we kind of <laughs> know all of the answers to everything. Oh, yeah. So, and even if we don't, we could come up with some, some, some nonsense that, that will entertain you. Yes. So if you have questions about Martha, or filming a YouTube series in your living room, or you have ideas. John about Bon Jovi. Yes. I mean, really, no questions are off limits. Right, right, right. Uh, we'd love to hear them. Send in your questions. The Marthaverse at gmail.com. Slide into our DMs on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but for sure, though, in talking to your friends, they've asked questions like, you know, hey, I thought this was going to be funny. <laughs> Something like that. Well, and my cousin did say, in what world uh, um, yeah. do you have a show about the Martha Stewart? Jam and maker. I don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. How was your Q and A? <laughs>